We got team coverage of today's severe weather event. Uh, we got Jake here in the studio with me, but also out in the field, we've got meteorologist uh, Brianna Medina. She is in lightning right now. She's headed up towards the Delta where we had those original tornado warnings where uh, or when we first broke in uh, more than an hour ago for that storm that was in the Humphreys in the Holmes County area. There's been a little bit of damage, as Jake mentioned, up around that area. We don't know if it was caused by straight line winds or a tornado, but that's where we're sending Brianna. So Brianna is on her way up there. Uh, Brianna, tell us what you're seeing right now where you are. Well, Ken, right now we are about eight minutes outside of Lexington and we are seeing still overcast skies. We're seeing more rain activity over here, but we're not really seeing that much damage out within the trees. Some limbs are still on. We're not really seeing broken branches or anything like that. We're just seeing overcast skies. However, when we get closer to Lexington, that may be a little bit of a different story. But on the way over here on Mississippi, Highway 3 conditions were not rainy whatsoever, but as soon as we went on Highway 49 West, that's when more rain and some lightning was occurring. But then now we're on Highway 12 heading toward Lexington where rain is starting to slow down just a bit, but again, that may change. And um, I do have a baseball and a quarter just in case if we do encounter some hail, I can go ahead and compare the size and get back with any more uh, possible damage that these storms have caused. But as of right now on the road, we're just seeing overcast skies and the rain has uh, kind of stopped um, as of right now. But um, overall conditions are still manageable right here on our way to Lexington. Ken, back to you.